Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. Round two. This is Tuesday. I have no tea. I have no tea. Um, yesterday, you may have seen either my TikTok or my Instagram show videos. It was uh, Instagram stories. And I believe I haven't posted a short on YouTube. <laughs> because after I recorded yesterday's video which I recorded on Sunday last night well not I mean last night in my world so Sunday night I'm like I'm gonna really muscle down and I'm gonna put some inches into this blanket because I felt like I could <laughs> so I sat down and the balls were, those big giant balls were collapsing and collapsing and tangling. And I was spending more time pulling the tangles out from the inside of the ball collapsing than I was crocheting. So I was getting irritated. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to ball it up. I'm going to ball it up. So now my saggy balls have turned into round hard balls. <laughs> and then boy, do I got some balls, man. Okay. But, I started off thinking I was just going to make one super giant big ball so that I didn't have to tie in ends or anything like that. And then at a certain point, I'm like, these balls are too big to hold. And they were going to give them a hand cramps. So I cut and start a new ball. Cut and start a new ball. Then I was cooking with fire, right? I'm sitting up in my bed. And for the first night in several nights, I did not need to take... Motrin before I went to bed <laughs> and I was like I'm, I'm feeling good I'm gonna get some crochet done and I'm sitting there watching just the dumbest YouTube videos ever I am so trapped on the Wade Wilson phone calls from Jumpsuit Pablo it is really ridiculous <coughs> Mr. Cinnamon is quite irritated by me watching those videos he's like I don't know what your fascination with this is I was like I don't know it's like watching a soap opera <laughs> <laughs> it's just like if you don't know who Wade Wilson is he's not Deadpool he pretends he is but he is a really bad man who hurt two women he took their lives and he is trying to gain notoriety and fame and money from said crimes and he is a dirty rotten scoundrel and all these dumb women are like all fawning over him and it's just disgusting to watch and now, like, his world is starting to fall apart. And he's starting to see, like, oh, maybe I'm not Mr. Hot Stuff, you know? And it's just like watching a train wreck. Like, you can't stop watching. And they keep releasing new police vid Or not police videos. It's phone calls from prison. It's like people calling him on prison. And it's like, some of it is filth. Some of it is like, these women are just, like, dirty, nasty girls. And, like, they got these weird fantasies about him and, like, whatever. But some of it is just funny. And to hear him just swindling and and convincing these people. And it's not just women. Like, he's telling men he's in love with them. And, like, it's it's crazy. And he keeps going, can you give me money? Can you give me money? I need money for this. I, I'm, I'm wasting away. I need honey buns. And, like, it's just crazy. Like, it's crazy. And Jumpsuit Pablo is hilarious. He's funny. He puts, like, the phone calls are released on different channels. I watch Jumpsuit Pablo because he does commentary along with the call and he's funny and he does voices and he makes me laugh. <laughs> and he, he, I think he is neurodivergent because he does some neurodivergent specific things like he adds words to music and he like he'll hear a tune and add words to it and now he's got a new song, you know? And so and then that gets stuck in your head. And I do that. I've always done it. It's a neurodivergent thing. Like, um, I mean, I'm sure other people do it, but it is very much a neurodivergent um, thing. Little man's real good at it. <laughs> you know, you just make up a song like at the drop of a hat with weird random things that are going on in your world, you know. You guys have heard me do it in tutorials. Like, I'm bored and I'm sitting here and I start singing something that is nonsense, okay? <laughs> And so, Jumpsuit Pablo does that. So, I was watching him last night, and Mr. Cinnamon is next to me just snoring because he's not interested. He also gets up really early for work. And so, I'm crocheting along. 
I didn't realize. Well, I actually, I did. Rewind. Earlier in the day, before the balls happened, before this happened, um, oh, I need to get back to the chiropractor and get cracked. My neck is starting to lock up because I was doing too much crochet. Um, I had crocheted a couple of days that you guys saw the blanket. It was beautiful, right? I showed it to you. And it was, is the key word. And then I realized it's starting to go in. And then when I folded it in half, it was like this off. So I frogged back like 10 rows. And I reworked all of the 10 rows. That only took me about an hour. Which was, was this is why I knew I could crochet last night. Because I did all those, I redid the rows in an hour. And then I added and added and added. And the blanket was pretty big and I looked at it I'm like so, why is this it, something's wrong what was happening is when I was putting that specialty row in for some reason that specialty row would screw me up every time and I would decrease so every time that specialty strip it was there it would start to decrease and the specialty rows decrease specialty row decrease so last night around midnight, I folded it half again and I'm like, something's just not right. And it was just so, it was so much shorter. It was even shorter than it was before I frogged it and thought I fixed it. So today I made a couple of videos laughing at myself, like making jokes, like I wasn't really crying. I mean, I wanted to cry last night because I was tired and I couldn't believe. And I thought I'm doing so good. This is going to be an amazing blanket. <clears throat> And I just, last night I wanted to cry. Today I'm just, we're laughing it off. We're making jokes, whatever. And I stood up next to it because I had to stand up. It gave me more leverage and I'm winding more balls, winding more balls. And we have now one, two, three, four, five balls. And a whole bunch of rows I frogged back. But I was going to frog the whole thing out and make a new blanket. I was. But instead, I frogged back to where it was, there were still missing rows, but it was not as much. So it, instead of going in like this, it only went in like this. And I'm like, I can live with that. I could probably crochet the blanket from that point. I'm like, ah, no. Because I already have enough bad feelings about this blanket. This is not going to be a blanket. So I frogged it back and I pulled out my crochet hook. And I made a big giant wrap. This is a shawl style wrap thing. It's huge. It's way bigger than anybody needs. It's beautiful. And I fixed it enough that you can't tell it's so jacked up, right? So it's just the first part of the blanket. Right? And on the ends, I put a combination of single crochets, half doubles, and doubles to even it out to make it kind of flat. <laughs> so if you look real close, you can see like there's doubles here, but not here. So I did I did a row of doubles to this point, and I turned and went back. And I came back with singles, and then I did doubles here. Just I just I used that method to even it out. I could have done that on the big giant blanket, but it would have been way more no noticeable on the big blanket. I did both sides like that. This side is less jacked up than the other side. <clears throat> it still has the beautiful stitches in there. It's still pretty. And it's a really nice big comfortable wrap that covers everything that's necessary when you're cold and I'm gonna call this done am I done with the balls no because I decided I don't know what Kayla's doing like I said I have a plastic mat under my chair to make it roll better and the wheels keep getting caught, so now that back side is pulling up. <clears throat> and it doesn't let me pull my chair in correctly. But this is an enormous wrap shawl. And it's pretty. 
And I'm gonna call this done. Okay, like I said, I don't know what Kayla's doing. I have not communicated with Kayla. Um, I just, I'm not. <laughs> Nothing to do with Kayla. I just am not, I'm having a hard time even commenting because what's going on, I have not been on my phone. I have been very much trying to figure out what changes are gonna be made in my life right now to not ever go through the pain I went through last week again. And I don't know what I'm stepping on, but it hurts. Um, so with that, we're just gonna move forward. Um, if Kayla watches yesterday's video or today's video for this, and Kayla is Llama Mama Kayla, go check her out, she's amazing. Um, I like Kayla, she is, she is, what are the words that I would describe Kayla? She's hilarious. She's a beautiful person, like inside and out. She's just, she's got a giant heart and a strong willpower. And she's got, just, I, I admire her so much. And I admire her for a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons. I couldn't go into them all possibly. But let me tell you a couple things I love about Kayla, okay? Um, she homeschooled her boys. And like I said, she... I never reached out and asked her for help with the homeschool thing. And she's been like real, like she's not pushy either. Like I know that if I need something from her, I know that I could absolutely contact her and she would answer any questions I had about homeschool or whatever. Um, her channel, actually, I think her channel used to be homeschool stuff way back in the day. And um, I I wasn't even on YouTube back then. And she... um she reached out to me after I posted a video saying I was having a hard time. And like that email meant so much to me because she said, you know, it's normal to feel what you're feeling, like keep going. And then the next week and the this week and last week, amazing. Like everything just is way smoother. We just hit a bump and like now things are going along smoother and like we, we're just adjusting as we go. And that email meant everything to me. It just did coming from her like it meant everything to me and then like a lot of the stuff like I watch her and like I know she doesn't like me to compare I know she doesn't like people to compare her problems to our problems but like she really does make me want to keep trying and keep going and be better because of watching what she does and I know she doesn't like being compared to that because she's way more than her disabilities or ailments and I I understand that but also A lot of people go by the motto like what would Jesus do <laughs> and my motto is like if Kayla can do it I can do it and I don't mean that to be condescending to her at all and I hope that she doesn't take it any other way than the spirit that I mean it and like if Kayla can do it I can do it too like it gives me strength and it gives me courage and I don't think she understands how much just her living her life and just continuing to push through things helps us. Okay? With that being said, <laughs> I, I did not intend to cry in this stupid video. So, <clears throat> I'm very glad we're doing a make along with, with Kayla. These balls, <laughs> these ones right here, these <laughs> big giant balls, this is almost taking on a color of its own. This is purple and gray mixed together. But, it's taken on like its own purpley gray color from a distance. You can't see that it's marled. So I'm still gonna make a blanket. I'm just gonna start fresh and I think I'm gonna make a center out blanket because I do better with center out blankets. And I actually, Wanda, Wanda you guys have heard of Wanda. I call her Tawanda. She's been a longtime member supporter of me, my channel, everything. Um, she emails me like a lot. She's going through some stuff in her life, too, so prayers and, and positive energy for, for Wanda. Um, where was I going with that? Totally lost my train of thought. I had something to say about Wanda, and I don't remember what it was. Oh, Wanda emailed me. And she's like, I don't understand why my blanket's going in. <laughs> And I said, you're either adding or subtracting stitches. That's why it goes in or out. And usually it occurs on the end of your blanket. 
and I told her I even struggle with this like I don't know how like aside from frogging it and reworking it I don't know how to prevent it from happening I struggle myself with rectangle blankets specifically if I'm just doing double crochet I don't know why I know what a double crochet looks like I feel like I'm working in all the stitches I don't know why I struggle so hard with that like it's hard for me to make uh, just a rectangle when it's just regular stitches if I'm following a stitch pattern like the Luke's blanket the Boggy Creek blanket I that is easy to me especially when I'm alternating between two colors I don't know why just double crochets screw me up so bad and then with this every time I put in a different row and went back to double crochet is when it really messed up and I'm like what am I doing wrong I have no idea and I look at it and I can't even tell like occasionally I'll miss on the end but to mess up that many inches I'm getting hot to mess up that many inches is insane like I should be better at this I make tutorials for a living <laughs> what is wrong with me <coughs> So, and I had quite a few people comment this morning already, like, I'm so glad you're normal and you're like one of us because we're out here screwing up too. I screw up all the time. I usually leave that in. Like, when I'm doing a tutorial, I'm like, yeah, okay, well, I messed this up. Let's start over again. Or I tell you, like, I really struggled with this. This is a way we can fix it. And the reason when I do a tutorial and I say you can also do X, Y, and Z to alter it is because I tried it out. Or because I was fiddling with it and I was like, well, what would that look like? And I, I don't show that on camera, but I do that behind the scenes. Like when I was making this, I messed up the red one real bad. The red one was big enough to fit like... I'm trying to think who has a really big head. Like, I mean, it would just fit, it would fit a giant head. It was so big, the red one. I had to frog back a whole, like, a whole bunch. <laughs> just to make it, and I would, I, I'm glad the tutorial one came out so great because the red one I had to frog back a lot and rework the whole thing. And the reason I have those tips because I do screw up and I part of the learning process with crochet is you have to mess up so you can figure out how to fix it. <clears throat> That's part of where my creativity comes from is screwing up and reworking it. Or if you screw up a little bit, you can kind of fudge your way through it. But screwing up as big as I did, I'm like, we got to start from scratch, start over. So I am going to work a center out blanket. I don't know if I'm gonna do granny style or log step log cabin style blanket. Um, I'm kind of um, debating between the two, but I think I want to mix a darker purple with this. And I I don't know if I have. I know that I have purple yarn. I should probably look. I got pink. Pink. Well, pink might work. Let me open the big cabinet. Oh, I have a fuzzy dark purple. But I need a bulky is the problem. I need a bulky purple. I have Premier Yarns that would work, but I only have one of those. Those would work. Maybe I'll mix some puzzle in with that. What do you guys think? And just make like an inside, like a center out blanket. I could do granny square, I could do log cabin style, I could do, I don't want to do like a star or a, like a round blanket because I won't use that. Um, but I do way better with center out blankets. So we're going to start a blanket. And like I said, this is going to be, we're going to, we're going to be working with this big balls for the rest of October. That's just going to be our thing. We're going to do other things in between because that will bore me. But, um. And then I am in talks with another podcaster for doing a um, collab in November. So look forward to that. I'm not saying who I'm working with yet because it's going to be surprising. We haven't worked out any of those details, but um, they contacted me and was like, hey, can I collab with you too? Like that's, um, yeah, let's come up with an idea. We can do it in November. Um, and my memory card is dead. So with that, I'm going to let you go. Um, continue working on your big ball projects. 
All right, let's hurry up and get this ending in. Um, this is what I get for not deleting the tutorials on my memory card. Keep working with your big balls. We're gonna do this all month long. It's gonna be me and Kayla and all of you that are working with our big balls. We're gonna finish up our projects. Um, I, my goal is to use both the gray and the purple ball to completion. And whenever the blank, the bl whenever I run out of yarn, that's how big the blanket is gonna be. I'm gonna work center out. I'm gonna restart from scratch. We already have one project that I finished. I'm gonna call that a success because it's a functional project. And um, yeah, just let's keep let's keep the momentum going. Keep working with your big balls. Um, keep posting to me and Kayla's Facebook groups, and uh, we're just gonna keep going with the flow. We're gonna not let this get us down. We're gonna not let this give us a big setback. You know, I had a couple people run out of yarn and not finish their project because they played yarn chicken. I had a couple people mess up and contact me and be like, or I had a lot of people say, well, I had a I got had a late start. I couldn't st start for the first four days, and so like I didn't, I couldn't do it in seven days. So <clears throat> let's just make it a month-long crochet along with Kayla. And it'll be Kayla will be October. October will be Kayla month for Llama Mama Kayla and uh, our big balls. So with that, I'm gonna let you go. Um, I do have some exciting stuff coming this week, so stay tuned. We have. Um, we have some really fun stuff and I got a box of yarn that has not been released yet that I cannot wait to share with you. I wasn't expecting it and like we were outside decorating for Halloween <clears throat> and FedEx pulled up and Mr. Sim was like, um, what do you order from this yarn company? I was like, nothing. He's like, well, they said they were sending something from FedEx. I was like, well, I didn't order nothing. And so he's all, oh, huh. so when FedEx showed up <clears throat> and it was in an unusual container and I was like, that don't look like their stuff. And then I opened it, I was like, ooh, <laughs> that's coming up Friday. <laughs> I really did go, whoo, like, um, what's his name? What is his name? You know who I'm talking about. Little Richard, little, the little Richard came out of my mouth. He was like, whoa! <laughs> <coughs> Can't wait to show you that. I think that I think that comes on Friday. So definitely tune in for that. And I will let you go and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.